Hello YouTube, Matthew Williams here, just bringing you a video to talk about why BT Broadband is a complete rip-off and they are totally sticking their cock in your ass. Um, sorry to put it graphically, but that is literally what is going on because um, I basically was with Talk Talk uh, Business, which was supposed to be providing me with an 8 gig download um, and, well, sorry, 8 megabit download and a 0.8 upload and I had to pay 200 quid connection and I had to pay 40 quid a month and basically I wasn't really um, feeling that was good value for money because I was supposed to be getting 20 megabit down and I was supposed to be getting the uh, full 0.8 up and I was only getting 0.4 up so basically you know I could get that with any broadband provider so I thought. So I went across to BT because they were offering eight on the uh, on the megabit for download and four up, and that was supposed to be only twenty quid a month. But the trouble is with BT, they say you've got a forty gig um, fair use limit. But what they do is they throttle you. So they throttle you in the day, which is kind of when you want to fucking use the internet. Is in the fucking daytime. Because that's when people are awake. <sighs> so anyway, they started throttling. Now, for anybody who doesn't know about this, what it means is that even though they say to you that they're giving you 8 megabits connection, when you actually try to use that 8 megabits connection, you see the speed go down and down and down. And in the end, the speeds that I was getting, which were about you know 10k, by the end of it, we're, we're about the same sort of speed I'd be getting if I had a dial-up fucking modem. Remember one of the old... <laughs> one of those dial-up modems. Remember how long pages used to take to display? Well, literally, if I started doing anything like trying to download something or trying to watch a YouTube clip, initially the YouTube clip would go like this. Wee! Really fast, and then it would go wee! Slow, 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 slow. Now, for anybody who's used a speed line tester, and BT like to say to you, oh, would you like to test your speed, sir? Use this little utility. And what it does, it basically tests your line speed. But they're, they're clever, you know, because what they do is they give you about a minute to two minutes of fast speed. These test utility programs, these test little things that test your speed, I mean, last for about 30 seconds. So, of course, you know, you press the test thing and it goes, yes, we are getting 8 megabits and we are getting upload of 0.4. Of course, in actuality, if you were to let that test keep running for a couple of minutes, all of a sudden the speed would go down and down and down and down until you've got a little trickle of nothing. So the point is that I was using my um, near my 40 uh, gig limit and I went over a little bit. So they charged me extra for doing this and in fines for going for another 40 megabits, you would be charged 40 pounds. So let me get this straight now. If you pay 20 pounds a month, you get 40 megabits of bandwidth limit. But if you go over that, you pay £40 to have another 40 So it's £20 for the first 40 and then it's £40 for the next 40 How does that work? When, if you paid, instead of £20, you paid £23, you could have 80 Yeah, so how does that work, BT? How does that work? Yeah, and then you work out that for fining you, right, for fining you for going over, they're giving you a throttle down service that is slower than, you know, it's, it's as slow as a modem used to be, an old modem used to be. So for that £40, for that fine to top you up to this extra amount, you are getting the shittest service in the world. So I just told BT to go fuck themselves and I have left them with a nice big bill, which I'm not going to pay. And I've done this a few times in the past when I've had big quarrels and big complaints with BT's high charges and low quality of service. And I've done this a few times and, geez, you know, you kind of keep on giving them a chance. You keep on giving them a chance again and again. And they just keep on proving 
time after time that they are still wankers. So you do try, but there's no use. It's no use in it at all. So I'm going to fuck them off and I will be, uh, well, I've connected up with Talk Talk. Not the business service, which I used to get. I've connected up, I've given Talk Talk a chance. And Talk Talk have apparently unbundled the local exchange. So guess what? Talk Talk have just connected me up and I'm getting 14 megabits down and I'm getting 0.8 up, which is something that the Talk Talk business service couldn't even offer me. So Talk Talk business for charging me double the amount or triple the amount, because I'm going to tell you how cheap Talk Talk is in a, is in a minute. So Talk Talk, we're trying to charge me 40 quid to give me half of what they originally could have given me, which was double the price of BT. Now with Talk Talk Home Service, I'm getting, um, I'm getting, what is it, near enough double the download speed, getting near enough double the up speed of both the uh, Talk Talk Broadband and BT. So I'm getting double, right? And guess how much I'm paying for it a month? Have a guess. Thirteen pounds. What can you say to that? What can you say to that? BT are literally shafting people up the arse and it's not very nice. Now, if I go over my limit with Talk Talk and extend from the 40 gigs into the 80 gigs, they charge you a fine, but it's five pounds to take you all the way to 80 gigs. So there you go. So BT are the biggest conning scumbags. They always have been. They always have been determined, absolutely fucking determined to throttle your service so that you get shit service. And they've got all the tricks in the book. All the tricks. So my suggestion is, if you have BT, fuck them off and get another service, whether it be Virgin, Plusnet. Although, bear in mind, Plusnet have a very slow upload speed. It's one of the worst upload speeds there is. Right? But there's Plusnet, there's Virgin, there's Talk Talk, there's a few others. But whatever you do, don't go with BT, because they're fucking shit. And how would you like to get a 40 quid fine on top of your monthly broadband bill? Not good, is it? So fuck BT off and make sure you leave them a whopping great fucking amount of money you owe them. And then don't pay the bill. It's great. OK, so that was my advice and uh, hope to see you soon. Fucking off BT.